Actor James Gandolfini has died. Gandolfini was on vacation in Italy when he suffered a heart attack. The Emmy award-winning actor was best known, of course, for his portrayal of Tony Soprano, the crime boss on HBO's The Sopranos. Gandolfini was 51 years old. And my morning must read today is one of the many messages of condolences following his sudden death. The state of New Jersey was as much a character on the show as Tony or Polly Walnuts. So Chris Christie, the governor of New Jersey, tweeted this out last night. Gandolfini's passing is an awful shock. He was a fine actor, a Rutgers alum, and a true Jersey guy. He was a true Jersey guy. Anyone, I, you, you actually did not watch The Sopranos, which I'm shocked about because it was such a popular show, and he was so he was the core of that show. And in fact, the creator. I might point out. Well, no, no. Go ahead, please. Well, please. the creator of the show, David Chase, also put out a statement, uh, of course, and he says that James Gandolfini was a genius. Anyone who saw him, even in the smallest of his performance, knows great. that he is one of the greatest actors of this or any time. A great deal of that genius resided in those sad eyes. It was a complex character that he portrayed as Tony yeah. Soprano. I would urge anyone to read about his parents. And about he, how he became who he was. It's an extraordinary. This debate over the immigration bill is just insanely stupid when you read about his childhood mm. and his parents and how they kept the Italian in him even as they lived in New Jersey. I mean, the lasting impact of, of The Sopranos on HBO is tremendous because this was the show that really made HBO what it is today. The distinction for the destination for high quality, character driven mm. dramas featuring an anti hero. I mean, how many shows can you think of these days that really follow that model? Yeah, you loved him and you hated him. He was yeah. that kind of. And we of forget it goes back to 1999. And he was, all, he was not just Tony Soprano. I actually had the pleasure of seeing him in a Broadway show, God of Carnage, cool. where he played a totally different character. He was a sensitive husband guy. Mm. And so well, like me. But he was, like ex he, <laughs> but he was explosive in that as well. He was. And I, I actually think I saw that as well. And, and, and I think that in, in live, I mean, this this is where he truly excelled uh, because his ability to captivate the mm -hmm. audience. It was a difficult script. It was a little ugly at times, and, and everyone was riveted. At 51 okay. years old, it's hard to see that.